plant in Lafia, the state capital. Governor Tanko Al Makura says the milling plant will serve as a training complex for cooperative societies, leading into the establishment of cottage rice milling centers across the state. A project has installed capacity of a milling 1.5 metric tons of rice per hour. Nasarawa State is a highly agrarian state with a large percentage of its populace engaged in farming and agro-allied activities. The state is one of the two states selected by the federal government to pilot the production of rice in commercial quantity in the country. In this regard, the federal government negotiated a collaboration with the Japan International Cooperation Agency for the construction of a modern rice milling plant in Nasarawa. What brought about the idea was uh, an initiative of the federal government to delimit states that have conducive environment for certain production. And during uh, Economic Council meeting, Nasarawa State and Niger State uh, were selected to be the pilot states that will implement the model of this tripartite arrangement, specifically dedicated to rice production and processing and transfer of technology. Uh, while we come in as a state, uh, the idea is for the government's uh, on uh, which brought the two partners together. But the actual funding and implementation of the project is specifically that of Nassau State and JICA. Rice farmers from across the state will have their produce milled directly from this plant to encourage local rice production. Uh, but I'm here is uh, just uh, make a support uh, to JICA to uh, install that machine all for the rice milling plant. The Nasarawa state government provided the building housing the plant at the cost of 55 million naira, while the Japanese government provided the equipment worth 45 million naira. We'll take a break on New Strike and when we come back, the Barclay state government partners with a Chinese firm to help build a 140 megawatts Yankari power plant. Details in a moment. Investigating. Exposing, uncovering, reporting, hard hitting interviews. Sunrise Daily, only on China's television. Welcome back to New Strike. You can get all of our top stories and other programs on our website that's channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web and to get us while you're on the move visit visit uh, mthechannelstv.com and uh, to view us live on the iPhone, iPad or even the Blackberry and don't forget that you can download the Channels TV app as well for the Android and Nokia 920 devices from their respective stores and you can also interact with Channel's Eyewitness feature, and that's on our Android and Windows 8 platforms. So if you have a picture you, or a video you would like to share with us, all you need to do is download the Channel's TV Android app on your device, then swipe to reveal the Eyewitness menu, and then follow the instructions to share your report, pictures, and videos. Now, the Baoji state government has concluded arrangements with a Chinese firm to construct a 140 megawatt independent power plant. The state governor, Isa Yuguda, who made this known in Abuja, explained that the funds for the project will be provided by the Chinese Exim Bank to be paid back over a period of 25 years. He noted that 60% of the power generated from the plant will be delivered to the national grid. is about uh, 200 uh, and 1 million dollars <clears throat> and uh, we are very positive that uh, with the generation power generation that it will uh, generate uh, is a very uh, 
important uh, project, not only for Bochi State, but for the nation at large. Uh, given the power demand as it is today in Bochi, uh, we have uh, the capacity to consume about 40%. Uh, and uh, the 60% uh, would sell to uh, the national grid uh, for the time being. But as demand increases, we may have to reduce the bid that uh, we may sell to the national grid. The good news is that uh, he has received uh, the, uh, the blessing of the federal government of Nigeria and the National Assembly uh, in the form of uh, giving a sovereign guarantee. And of course, uh, the China Exim Bank uh, had uh, gladly accepted uh, the, uh, the project, and uh, they have been reviewing the project with a view to uh, uh, granting uh, a facility uh, to part finance the construction and delivery of the project. Governor Boucher State, Isa Yuguda. In recognition of his contribution to advertising or to the advertising profession in Nigeria, the Sun Newspapers has honored the chairman of Troika Holdings, Mr. Burden Shabajo, with the Advertising Man of All Times, the highest award so far. The event, which took place at the Eco Convention Center in Lagos, was also an opportunity to host marketing communication practitioners to an evening of fun to mark 40 years of indigenous advertising in Nigeria. Uh, this one, I think, is a special one. Man, advertising man of all times, I want you to serve this, really. So, congratulations. appreciated for one's professional contributions by a media house at the level of the Sun Publishing Company is doing this evening. It is also not usually the case that all sectorial groups in the particular industry turn out and mass to celebrate with the AWD as is the case this evening. I therefore cannot thank the board and management of the Sun newspapers as well as colleagues and partners in marketing communications and representatives of media owners sufficiently enough for the honor bestowed on me. When I take a look at the rear view mirror of the past 42 years, all I see are exciting times and incredible people. People I have been privileged to learn from, some that I've had the opportunity to rub minds with and share knowledge and skills with. Some of these people are still with me, while others have become their own bosses and successful entrepreneurs. A lot of you in this category are here tonight. Among those who have made the most difference in my life are scores of people and organizations who believe in the cause that my colleagues and I championed, the cause of changing the face of advertising in Nigeria. For this, Credits must be given to our clients as well as the various media owners and service organizations who showed absolute trust and belief in adventure, even in those very early days. Now, the 2013 World Bank IMF meetings have begun with a call for member countries to develop strategies towards poverty reduction and macroeconomic stability. At this year's events at taking place in Washington, D.C., has representatives from 188 member countries, including Nigeria, all in attendance. Our business correspondent, Chimizi Obiwagu, who is in Washington, D.C., covering the event, reports. It's a gathering of central bankers, ministers of finance and development, private sector executives and academics. They are here to discuss issues of global concern. For over 200 million people living in poverty, the chairman of this year's annual meeting says job creation remains urgent priority. We support 200 million people unemployed. Job creation remains obviously an urgent priority. It is a social and economic 